Z-Boyd, come play with us. Okay, so I'm going to start a new game. I'm talking, uh, let's see, should I do heroine, which is challenging, or super spy, where I'm going to die all the time. It's a tough decision. Don't pick super spy again. Learn from your mistakes. Do super spy. I'm getting conflicting messages from the what viewers. Not super spy? I, what's not even super spy? Uh, heroin. Um, I remember super spy, like the first battle's a puzzle and there's only one way to win. <laughs> um, we'll do heroin just so people can see more of the game. Okay. Here's our cool opening cutscene. Did the cutscenes take a CD style? So you know they're all using in-game assets. They're not FMVs. Our main character is gonna jump out of the dropship, land on the ground, and. He's going to save the world. Okay. I don't know, should I read the dialogue out loud or not? Yes, in your funniest, most amusing voice. Oh, that's... Silly, funniest, most silly voice. That's just my regular voice. Okay, there... Lots of Crush 40 references that I'm not getting in the comments, so... There's an agency supply chest in the alleyway up ahead. It should contain everything you need to get in. Sorry you had to sit this one out. I feel more at home away from the action anyway. Less chance of sudden violent death. I don't detect anything organic in your vicinity, just some positronic movement. Standard corporate defense systems, I'm guessing. That's a cool effect on that guy. On the yep. guy, cool effect. Who did that? Um, let me see again. Um, I think it was just an animation, <laughs> so... And who's in charge of the animation? Um... In this game, you or Bill? Um, Bill did the animation, I mean, he did the graphics and the animations, yeah. Cool. I I don't think I used any sort of special coding for that. Cool, 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 it looks great. Yeah, it looks very cool. Okay. Don't make that noise again, <laughs> whatever you did to turn it off. I, on and off. Yeah, so don't mess with the mic. Okay, um, say for now. Now I want to do is mess with the mic. But no point in t taking chances. Get in and out before the bad guys realize we're spoofing their surveillance footage. Sounds like a plan. Out. Okay, so we can walk around. Let's save our game. Um, insight, we could talk. There's no time to waste the. I have to rescue those hostages before anything bad happens to them. So we run up. Ooh, graffiti, D-Boy game. Hyper Jack sound works. Um, can I get asked for an update on this week, man? It's like getting new game plus on Steam. Sorry for asking again. Um, sure, that will most likely happen sometime after the Kickstarter is done. Because we're focusing, you know, lots of attention on the Kickstarter right now. A basic tutorial. So this is just going to tell us about how the style system works. So you get more powerful each turn, and you know you get hyper mode occasionally, and you get really powerful then. Okay, no problem. So we've got our first enemy. Um, it's a robo dog, just a minor nuisance to a trained API agent. Weak to water. So let's use water on it. Attack and it's dead. Victory! Yep, unless you play on Super Spy. Yes, the Super Spy battle there is very difficult. It's pretty much a puzzle where you have to um, do the moves in a specific order. We learned our lesson. We're going to be saving all the time here. <laughs> But this is just regular challenging mode. It's not super hard mode, so probably won't die. But you know, famous last.
last words at all. Um, tutorial, this is telling about the ability system. You can use abilities once and then you have to defend to recharge them. You get special abilities on your program from your shield. Okay, I got a shield breaker item. Yay, and a grappling hook. And we shoot the grappling hook up top. Okay, so we've got some weak enemies. We can't use our regular attack now because we are flying through the air. Okay, blow up that thing. Go ahead and heal ourselves. Then we'll rest to get our abilities. The tower is as long as you want it to be. I could just leave this going for hours. I did pick yes instead of booyah. I'm sorry about that. And we defeated the robots and we leveled up. Uh, we didn't get any new abilities. Uh, I also kick puppies. Yeah. Uh, you, you play this way, man. This lies enough times, and you really just gotta speed through some scenes. I wanted to kick puppies the first time. We got the shield breaker item already. Okay, we got another cutscene coming here. Hi, Alyssa. Sean, what are you doing here? I thought I'd give you a hand. Come quietly and we won't hurt you. Oh, it's too late for that. We got a cutscene. I remember this was one of the first cutscenes we did for the game. And she defeats them with her gunman C. Aren't you supposed to be on vacation? Trademark by <laughs> Boy Games. <laughs> yes, gunman C. Trademark. Yo, it's necromancy, but with guns. Yay. Uh, I was bored. You know I need non-stop action and excitement in my life. Come on, let me help you out here. Bad guys, who named them? A five-year-old? A Minecraft YouTuber? Yeah, names are hard. Sean has joined the team. Hey, we worked hard on these names. Bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Bad guy was specifically chosen. Okay, and then we got another tutorial. This is about desperation. You can go negative HP sometimes. Lower, raise the difficulty, you can save any time. Now that we have another party member, let's see what our insight does. It's just like Sean to show up unexpectedly, but I can't say her help isn't welcome. The guns she can summon aren't just for damage, some of them can even heal allies. wonder how she learned gunman C is normally only taught on the planet of New Moon. Never understood desperation, how do you prepare for it? Well, um, in this game... I believe you just have to have enough style points. I think it's 50, and then if you have 50 or higher, then you'll go into desperation. In the later games, it's above. So you have to actually have an equipment or use a spell that'll give you, um, I think it's unstoppable. Yes, that's what style points do. They also boost your damage, and some abilities will use up all your style points be really powerful. Okay, so we've got some hooli uh, hooligan who likes to shoot, that's about it. And thug, he's got a heart of gold, but you'd never know it. Okay, so they're both pretty weak. I think they have the same stats, and they just have slightly different sprites. Is the Super Bowl happening in America right now, and you're doing this against the Super Bowl? I am doing this against <laughs> the Super Bowl. So the fact that we have any viewers is a little shocking. That makes me laugh. Okay, let's focus. We'll be able to target everybody. Uh, boom. Then she'll use her gun attack and hurt everything. right now, so let's heal Alyssa. Ooh. Oh, yay! Hello, Leo Grimm. 
thanks for stopping by. I know you have other options like the Super Bowl. And I'm just hearing all of our viewers go, wait, the Super Bowl was right now? <laughs> I don't know that it is right now. I just think it is. Well, last I checked, it was they were on like the all, first quarter. They're all checking in during the halftime show. Exactly. Well, okay, I got an item. So let's get the item. And we're going to fight a robo dog. Well, we had one person before, so this should be really easy. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> we're, in age, we're in age, and we don't see the whole thing about it either. America, the, their America football. <laughs> Don't insult <laughs> American football. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of gamers. Okay, mm. let's talk. Now we're fighting two Robo Dogs. Besides, American football has its pluses, like Taylor Swift. Exactly. <laughs> Just joking. Okay. Uh, the. And we're just gonna pistol attack the robo dog. Laser! The robo dogs are dead! And Alyssa leveled up and she got a new ability that boosts the damage of an ally and it's better if we target somebody else. And Sean leveled up too. So, save. Now we have. A scene with some bosses. Are you here to rescue us? You betcha. We'll have you out of here in no time. We need to clear the area first. Please hold on for just a little while longer. Here's our first boss. We've got what we came for. Let's get our butts out of here. What about the hostages, boss? Who cares? They were only a diversion in case any of those knuckle-headed agency freaks showed up. Hey, boss. Not now. Sounds Shoot. a lot like that book. <laughs> oh, which book? Little Alyssa. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yep, we have our fun book on YouTube, Little Alyssa. I don't think we do. I think we already have. Oh, wait, no, we never did put that one we up. We haven't published Little Alyssa. Oh, yeah, Lil Little Alyssa's not actually released yet. Okay, um, always bug me that even though you're playing as a super spy or an ex-soldier, you always start on level one. I think here you actually don't. I think you start on level two or three. But, yeah, point taken, you probably should start higher. Um, it was pretty fun in the Slayers. RPG on the Super Nintendo, you start out and you have like crazy killer moves on level one, and then you, you know, there's a big plot contrivance of why you're so weak. Because, like, it turns out you're not actually the main character of Slayers, you're a clone of the main character of Slayers, and that's why you're not as powerful as you should be. Anyway, uh, back to the game that we're actually playing. Spoilers. Oh, I'm sorry. I spoiled an old Super Nintendo game that was only released in Japan. And nobody here is ever going to play because it, it wasn't really that good. Of, it wasn't, you know, let's play it 30 years later. But <laughs> um, Should we let them know we're here or what? I think they'll figure it out after we hit them a few times. You, Groff Broxton, you have been deemed guilty of crimes against humanity. Your evil ends now. Okay, we got our first boss fight. Um, see, they're not weak against any specific element, but let's go ahead and make Sean more powerful. His damage is up it. Anyway, Drop is attacking us. He's a punk that way. Take him down. Okay, we're gonna focus her. Oh, she's really weak. She's dying. Oh no. He's gonna die before you want to. That would be funny, wouldn't it? To me, it would be funny. Oh. Okay, so I handled this badly. The two thugs always do different damage on turn one. So we're going to retry this. So clearly what I'm supposed to do is not focus fire on the main boss. I'm supposed to fight the thugs first and get rid of them. So we're 
go ahead and we'll attack that bot, that enemy. And he left the first turn. Ha 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 ha. Okay, then we'll blow up that enemy. Because I remember there was a special thing here where whenever one of his enemies dies, um, he gets all, he skips his next turn. So now she does her super, Hyper does more damage, and she is getting low on her things, so, see, can we kill this? Not yet. So our two characters. Well, we'll just wipe that out so he'll lose a turn. Then we'll heal our characters. He skips a turn. We heal Alyssa too. know all the cheats for this game but not Cthulhu saves the world where you die constantly yeah you know well, it. what's the difference there don't remember it see oh we got an absorb shield let's use that let's poison it And we defeated the boss. We got some XP, we got some credits. You think you're so clever sneaking up on us like that, but let's see how you fare against Skybreaker technology. Jumps into the giant mech. And this one's weak against water. So we'll use laser attack the first turn. And we'll use the pistol. And we'll shoot it with water for 100 damage. Heal okay. Blaster Alyssa. Absorb shield. Drown it again. Come to all these streams and I always end up feeling like Sattler or Waldor. Yeah, well. We appreciate that. I say roast him. Roast him hard. <laughs> he can take it. It amuses me. <laughs> Let's focus, so our next heal that will shouldn't. heal everybody. Everybody's healed. And it's almost dead. It is dead. Yay, we won. And Alyssa levels up again. <laughs> okay, so her ability Vigilance defends, recharges, and gains some style. Okay, so... Or we upgraded her defendability, and now it's blowing up. No. Curse you, agency scum. You think you've won, but everyone in this building is about to die. Mwahaha. And it's... Spaceship comes. I remember doing this was more difficult than it looked, because you know, I had to move the spaceship and stuff. Yes, this is much easier than... Cthulhu saves the world on maximum difficulty. This, but then I, again, I'm not playing this on maximum difficulty. I'm playing it on the second highest difficulty. Okay, yeah, this is probably even harder on maximum difficulty, which is why we didn't play that for the stream. Okay, we neutralized the hostiles. Can a defusal squad make it here in time? Does Grop come back? Yes, he does. Um, spoiler alert, he's a boss later in the game. That's a negative. We only have a few minutes left. Get out there and we'll try to contain the explosion. Wait. Skybreaker Tower is an experimental weapons facility. Blast it. You're right. What's going on? What's Chan doing there? Never mind. You can tell me later. 
With all the technology they're working on here, it wouldn't take much of a blast to start a massive chain reaction. That's right, it's hard to predict exactly, but worst case scenario, the entire city could be vaporized. Sorry to interrupt, but a little help would be nice. New plan. Sean, free the hostages and get them as far away as possible. I'll defuse the bomb. You got it. No, she's running. I'm not even doing anything and she's running. Is there a hidden timer on this part? No, there is no hidden timer. You could, you know, leave your computer or game console and go take a nap and come back and the tower's still there. We're running to the bomb. Guess we should probably save. We're running to the bomb. Here's the bomb. Found it. Oh, hey. Hello, culinary disaster. Welcome to the chat. Right next to an experimental power supply. That's one way to make a big explosion. I'm going to start the diffusal process now. Have you ever diffused a bomb before? I'm well versed in the literature. That's not what I asked. I know. She does her little animation and the bomb is diffused. I think at one point we were going to do a mini game here. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like the game audio is coming through. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I'm, you know, I've got my Twitch settings messed up or something. Because I'm hearing game audio, but it's not coming out on the There might be. Okay. Uh, nice job not getting us all killed. A cops is already en route to take you back to HQ. And now we have our title screen. So, our game is so cool that it doesn't even have, you know, you get a cool adventure before the title screen. Now we have our little cutscene. We see the world map for the first time. And silence, we're looking at the cutscene. Okay. We got our little robots here. I remember this screen. This is where a boss fight is later. Okay, welcome to a rainy general system monitor. Yeah. The advanced audio Okay, I don't know how to do that. So we'll mess around with it after the stream. Okay. Okay. Audio sounds bad, like the game server. Seem to auto balance your microphone. Okay. So. Uh, um. It says. No idea what I'm okay. uh, who knows? Uh, if you have any questions, we'll <laughs> uh, I and a not that accurate. Four. My joints are aching ears. Sorry about that, Chief. I'll wreck Okay. Oh, it's a Deus Ex mock. Uh, Deus Ex. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, I guess I was leaning back away from the mic. So, go into the space. The elevator was more complicated to go than out there. Save. So this. Okay. 
see a cutscene. Ominous at all. Deal. I just saw the footage. Excellent work there. All of us owe our lives to your day. It's me. Chan was there too. Yes, I'm. Pose upon you so. I've got a special task for an. Lost so brief For sir, the agency rewards those who always be better. I'm not a bad guy at all. Sir alert. Don't know why I'm cutting. I wish that would stop. Cover for our base and an extra layer of defense. Teams, visual. You're the only one on your team who bothered to tune all your ports on. Just doing my job. I appreciate your punctuality. I really do. Now that's an impossible. Beat this off. Maybe if I had a soda to drink. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> la la la. Not messing with audio situations. Change the mic, see if it sounds any better. Okay, testing. One, two, three. Testing. I'm talking on a new mic. You see? Hey, yay, it's better. Everybody's saying it's better. Woohoo! So much better. We got so many people we could talk to. Um, let's see, there's Dave over there we could talk to. I'm so close to connecting everything, the Freemasons, the Templars, the Space Illum Illuminati. I'm just missing a few crucial pieces to the puzzle. Um, you've got way too much free time on your hands. A mission out in the field would do you a world of good. Yeah, yeah we got so many people we could talk to, but I don't want to talk to them. We'll talk to Chan. Um, hi, Alyssa. Just practicing my gunmancy chants here. Ammo beyond twilight, guns in the flow of time, I pledge myself to thee to destroy all that stand in our way. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Do you need to recite that every time you use Gunmancy? Just in my head, thank goodness. Glad I don't have to constantly yell that stuff out in battle. Boy, would that get old fast. Okay, I think we can buy stuff here. Um... Uh, let's see, so that's the weapon person, and this is the armor person. Okay, we've got 128 credits. We have enough to buy everything. 50, um, 75, 115. Okay, so we don't have Dave yet. Um, we could get a reinforced rod. Inanimate carbon rod. Inanimate carbon rod. Can we sell anything? No. Um, so let me. Let's see. The chemist item boosts our item powers and cunning. Oh, you got it right there. <laughs> Let's buy some stuff. Okay, we're going to buy a shield. Um, we'll buy equipment, and then we can buy something for Chan or something for Dave. Let's get something for Dave. 
Okay, we got Steel Striker. We're updating it to Reinforced Rod, which has higher stats. He's got the Adventurer thing. Gives you a heal up. That also defends. Heal Wave when you get more Hackitude and Revive when you get a lot more Hackitude. And we could also equip the Chemist, which boosts our cunning and increases item power. Let's do that. It has higher defense. And her accessory, we don't have anything to replace. Pikachu tastes like death. Yeah, well. So let's go on. We're going to meet Sue here. Oh, well, before we do, let's go talk to her. She's important later. I hear you did good work in the hostage situation. I try. Of course, I would have done even better, but I can't be everywhere. And then she puts on her glasses. Welcome back, Alyssa. You handled that hostage situation brilliantly. No injuries, I hope. Not one. Chan's unharmed as well. Good to hear. The mission is important, but you need to take care of yourself, too. I hate to spring another mission on you so soon. But Director Steele was insistent that you take it and as soon as possible. He also wanted you to team up with Echo for this one, but I convinced him you'd perform best with a familiar team. My mean girl is great. Um, thanks for that. Echo and I have never gone along very well. Sue looks evil, but isn't. I know, right? He looks so evil. I know, she's not an easy person to get along with. Anyway, let's call the others and get you debriefed. Now we're going to find out about our mission. Looks like we're partners again. Finally, an away mission. I'm getting sick of being stuck here. I thought you said you liked staying away from the action. I'm a complicated man. Ha. Huh. This mission has a high potential for extreme danger, so you'd all best pay attention. Okay, hi, Pepperell Dev. Welcome to the stream. Well, we have eight viewers today. Onward and upward. And during the Super Bowl, no less. That that must be the key to getting good viewership, is doing it during the Super Bowl. Um, extreme danger. We're getting unusual readings from one of the mutated forests on the surface of Romu. Lots of Astraea activity there as well. Astraea? Astray is a terrorist faction, says that the government, especially the API, is a threat to us all, the usual spiel. What do you think is going on there? We believe that one of the research facilities from the Great War has reactivated itself. Ooh, that could be very bad. Lots of scary technology was developed in that war. I'm glad you're starting to see the gravity of the situation. The last thing we want is a terrorist group with a new toy to play with. Here's some money for supplies. The equipment store got some new weapons in just recently. You should check them out. Um, it's going great. Ooh, and we got some credits. I still don't understand why we need to pay for new equipment. Long live bureaucracy. I only died once. I know you're an experienced agent, but I think you'll find that people around HQ have a lot of valuable advice to give. Goodness knows, Dave could use some advice on how to be a proper agent. Hey, once you're ready, head to the loading bay for immediate transportation to the mission site. Good luck. Okay, so now I have party members, and Dave is not following. Now he's now he's back. Um, so let's go. Now we have some more money. We'll get. I think Chan's the one we didn't buy an upgrade for. So we'll buy Chan's weapon. Um, and then we'll. See what we could do. So we upgrade her weapon. I should hum the soundtrack. Okay, enough of that. Hyperduck did a better job than that. Okay. Now they're gonna. <laughs> now is gonna sue you just for that rendition. Okay, so her weapon is stronger. It has momentum where she gains extra style when she defeats an enemy. With oh, gotta remember to actually equip it. She's got absorb shield. 
which absorbs stuff. And then let's switch over to Dave. He's switching out his retro pad for a notepad, which is more powerful and has cunning. Then he's got dark, which boosts program damage and gives him a piercing attack. Um, let's see. So we'll we'll keep that there. We'll save now that we have a three-person team. And I think we just go back to the elevator. Yep. So we get in the elevator. We get a little cutscene where our spaceship is leaving. Now we're going into the big spaceship. And we're zooming off planet to another planet. Yeah, I had to code all of these cutscenes. Yep, Dave is too slow to keep up, so you know, go girl power. Dave's lazy from too many missions at the chair. And we're landing, and now we're on the planet. And Dave is like, I need to get in my steps. So he's just doing a funny animation. Uh, very dangerous. Stay sharp. Remember, just because Astrea is here doesn't mean we need to confront them directly. Oh, and there's pause. Hi, pause. Okay, let's take the stealthy approach. Okay. This is Mike, your remote support and all-around ace pilot. Yo, this is totally a Resident Evil 4 reference. I'm in a holding pattern above the planet as we speak. Let me know if you need a quick takeoff or any other assistance I can provide. Mike, out. Okay, let's move out. Okay. Pretty sure Dave is having trouble because, oh, uh, not the best. Um, computer setup I've got, and Twitch is taking a lot of power. Why is Dave so slow? <laughs> yes, he will mess us up. Terrorist up ahead. We should be able to pick up what they're saying from this range. There! Why are we just standing around waiting here? Orders. Arette wanted to make sure that we analyze the surrounding area before we move on to the facility. It's hard. <laughs> More flurkin. <laughs> yes. We actually just watched that on Disney Plus the other day. More flurkin. Hang those who talk of less. Yeah. The Marvels. It was a fun movie. Should have been a TV show. Um... I like how all the terrorists, almost all the terrorists here are just, like, guys in lab coats with iPads. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we can't go that way now. So we gotta go a different way. Their flurkins are not green and thus inferior to Z-Void flurkins. Truth. Hashtag biased. Uh huh. The struggle is real. Okay, let's fight some frogs in a blobby thing. Okay, the frog frog off. Their legs are most delicious, highly poisonous but delicious, and sentient snot radiation brought to life. Okay, so they're weak against fire and earth and lightning, which I don't think we have any of those right now. But let's kill us a frog. Okay. Oh, he has lightning. Yes. And he can do Enviro hack, which does different things, or he can stun. So let's zap us a frog. Kapow! And he's going to shoot the frog, and we got rid of a frog. And they really don't like Dave, do they? Okay, we're gonna zap the frog. We just have one enemy left. Um, and... Pow! Oh. And we're going to attack. Uh, let's see what Envirohack does. Oh, it's a heal spell. So, really good. Heals everybody. And then she shoots the sentient snot. 
and it's almost dead. We're going to stun it. You don't have all the spells memorized and exactly what they do? Um, it's an old game. I And I rarely play games that I make after I'm done making them. <laughs> yes. It's all the sitting and snacking. <laughs> the constant sitting and snacking. Okay. We had to get at least one Simpsons quote in there. You got sunglasses. Woohoo. It boosts our style. Okay, we can't open the door yet. We gotta go here, and there's these little buggy things that fly away if you step on them. And there's a hidden treasure chest right here. It gives us some money. This is so pretty. Yeah, this whole section was what we used for our convention demos. Um, there's a treasure chest right here. The glowy things. Bill did a great job. Yep, it looks really pretty. We got a potion. Let's go ahead and equip that. We'll swap out the sunglasses for the potion. And let's talk to the plant. It does nothing except try to kill us. And we get an extra battle. Okay, so this has a lot of HP, but it's just one enemy. So probably not too hard. Sean, more powerful. Let's increase his style. He's going to shoot it. Um, you do get something for Chan very soon. Zappy. And electricity. And um, she's low on health. I remember this thing hits pretty hard. And then go ahead and stun the enemy with our super stun. He's going to shoot something at it. He's going to shoot water at it, which is not effective. Don't plants like water? Yeah, the water did was not great for our purposes. Uh, let's poison the thing. Okay, and then he's going to void bullet it. A programmer, a spy, and a gunmancer walk into a battle too difficult for them. <laughs> nice. Okay, Dave's about to die, but the plant dies. Woohoo! They should have ducked. <laughs> Okay, so we go down here. There's some more bugs that can fly away. And here's our a harder battle. It's got three moderately tough enemies. Okay, we'll shoot the skeleton doggy thing. Um, let's absorb shield. Dave's kind of weak, so we'll put a shield on him. Yeah, and then Drown is good on the Bone Beasts. Zappy Zappy. Dave should play Ring Fit. <laughs> sure. It is like Statler and Waldorf in the chat, it isn't it? Really is. I love it. They're only thinking of Dave's health. <laughs> hey, we stunned that thing. Dave's almost dead. Stop. Yeah, they really want Dave dead. And we won! Yay! Almost gonna level up there, and we got a DX9 military grade purification torch. Able to roast a target from the inside out in no time or your money back. That's a good thing. Yep. 
Aren't these illegal in the greater Zavani system? Are they? Well, I'm sure nobody would mind if we use these for officially sanctioned government shadow ops. I wonder what happened to its owner. No traces of organic remains, but the gun seems unharmed. Instantly vaporized, maybe devoured in one giant gulp. What a sick way to go. What's that? Yes, previous owner. Very tragic. Let's have a moment of silence to honor their memory. Okay, long enough. It's new gun time. Sean now has the Purification Torch ability. So that does fire damage, and it does also lets us blow stuff up. Aha! Tree falls over, makes a bridge. What a coincidence! It was right there, and we get a little treasure chest this way. And there's some birds flying away. I programmed that. You programmed all of this. Yep. Okay, so we got Stealth Satchel, just boost her cunning slightly, but Aqua Satchel, boost her water power, and she has a water attack, so that's good. Crossover. So proud of those birds. Clearly he is. Can we really take Fate a second time? No! <laughs> Yes, we're blowing up the tree. And we got another passageway. Ooh, there's a treasure chest there. Let's go get the treasure chest. Did you hear that? Someone can need our help. Let's hurry. No, treasure chest. I got some more money. And now we go over here. Oh, no. The Did the tree blowing up ever backfire? No. Greed for the win. Oh no, the terrorists have been killed. How horrible. So many bodies. So much for tracking their movements after the mission. Who or what could have done such a thing? They were ripped apart. We'll be next if we don't watch out. We we should head back. Maybe someone's still alive. They look pretty dead to me. No, Chan's right. Whatever horrible things they might have done in the past, nobody deserves to bleed out alone in the jungle. Plus, a closer examination may provide some clues as to how exactly they died. So now we have to backtrack. And good thing there's no enemies this way. Oh no, there were enemies this way. Okay, let's... Sean seems so sad that they're dead despite just geeking out over a weapon that liquidizes organs. She does, she's a multifaceted person. Powie, uh, let's done something. And then we'll do a regular attack here. Dave's getting hurt. That's bad for him. And so he'll use the heal spell because he's almost dead. And then she will focus, get more multi-targeting, and we'll boost Chan's damage, and he will zap something, and then she will do flame torch, kapow, and blows up everything. Errol? I know. Names are hard. <laughs> Okay, Dave got a heal spell. Cross the bridge and then cross the other bridge. Singing a song for no reason at all. Let's examine. You should have gotten in the treadmill. Yep. Have you back up and running in no time? It's too late, Sean. They're already dead. What's this? You have acquired a key card. A key card must be for the facility they were targeting. They They're are... looting corpses? They are looting corpses. Now we know we got a real video game here. Prepared to enter and yet not to deal with the dangers around them. Idiots. We're making fun of the dead. <laughs> okay, and then we go back here. Oh, there's a little hidden treasure chest. And we got some more money. And then we go over here. And we find a little secret. There's a guy there. We talk to him. Help me. 
This one's still alive. Sean, would you do the honors? Wait, I'm no fan of our glorious government, but should we really be helping terrorists like this? I'm not one to leave someone dying over such a minor thing as a few ideological differences. Come on, he doesn't have much time. This is going to end badly. Now she's using a heal spell. Zoom. Ugh, I'm still alive. Who are you? Just a few explorers. We heard shouting and came to help. Thank you. I thought I was a goner for sure. Your wounds were very deep. What happened? This giant monster came on us suddenly, so fast I didn't even have a chance to aim before it was on me. Wait, the others, what happened to them? All gone, I'm sorry. I see. Are you able to walk? Yes, I appear to be fine. Those are some mighty impressive healing techniques you've got there. I feel like I've been in an infirmary for weeks. I don't have any way to repay you, but listen up, this is no place for explorers. Um, whatever you hope to find isn't worth facing that thing. We'll see. We're more capable than we look. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I know certain people, if you know what I mean. If you're ever in town, look me up. I owe you one. See, then that, that didn't go so badly. You say that now, but you'll change your mind when his terrorist friends have a gun pointed at your head. I'll manage. So, we saved him. Never saved Marco, and now I feel bad. You should feel bad. So if you save him, then later on he shows up and helps you out. Um, yeah, we got the chest there. Now we've got our key card, and we open the thing. You do not have to save him. It's purely optional. And now we fight a bunch of enemies. Okay, so the frogs are weak, but the death ray guns are strong. So, should we kill the death ray guns first, or kill the weak frogs? Um, we'll have Chan try to blow up everything. Got the inspiration on Chan. Okay, then she'll do her focus everything. We want to get rid of those frogs before they become too much of a problem. We're losing our health. So, Dave will heal us up. Um, we'll shoot that over there, almost killing it. And then we'll do the flame torch move. And that killed almost everything. So, we can stun it. Yep. And then recharge. Won't bother recharging because it's almost dead. Um, I thoroughly love Cthulhu Saves Christmas and enjoying the experience that is this way monster madness lies. How much of the humor and monster naming and flavor text will be in Zombie Fun Run? We are going to try to make Zombie Fun Run super funny. So if you like the humor in Cthulhu Saves Christmas and This Way Madness Lies, you should definitely like Zombie Fun Run as well. So be sure to check out the Kickstarter. And hello, Eleknor. Eleknor? Hey. Um, oh, there will be so much humor in monster <laughs> naming and flavor text in Zombie Fun Run. <laughs> the enemies are just ridiculous. Okay, so Chan got a new ability, Echo, that repeats her last ability used. And we go in here. And now we're all spooky. It's dark and there's shadows and stuff. This place is seriously dark. I can't see anything. DFR sounds like a fun romp. I'm really looking forward to it. Us too. Us too. Dave, can you see about doing something with the lights? One sec. No luck. The lights in this section are busted, but I did find something interesting. Hi, guys. Hi, mysterious disembodied voice. I may have turned on the facility AI system, an entirely intentional move on my part. I was getting rather lonely, but then you showed up. I'll be your bestest friend until you get eaten by the monster. It's a plan. Minus the eaten by monsters bit, we're not really into that. AI, tell us more about this monster. I really shouldn't, since that's classified information, but since my owners are dead, and we're such good friends, I will. 
It's big, dark, has teeth and claws, and it kills everything it sees guaranteed. But I'm sure you'll have a different experience than the last 352 people who come here. You look tough. <laughs> AI, what exactly were they researching here? Sorry, guys, so very sleepy. Good night. That's weird. The AI is rapidly disappearing and then appearing in the network. It shouldn't be able to do that. Faulty connection, perhaps? No, that would look different. I'm seriously stumped here. Find more answers searching the facility than we will waiting on a broken AI. Be on guard. Okay, so... Exploring the dark and spooky place. <laughs> Examine. You stare at the broken screen, but the image refused to change. Yep. You know that game you played and liked? We've played it too. You found some money. I think there's some blood we can examine around here. Or maybe not. Did I miss it? Oh, examine. The floor is covered with blood, quite possibly from someone named Chris. I understood that reference. I would hope so. You want to ex examine blood? Why? So we could get a terrible Resident Evil reference. That's why. You got hacker specs. This Dave accessory makes it easier for ailments to succeed on robotic enemies. Okay, so let's go put those on Dave. Hacker. Ailment <laughs> boost versus robotic enemies. You should touch blood stain. <laughs> touch blood stain. Oh, wrong game. This game is so much better. Okay, hack. I've got this. There, I disabled the locking mechanism on the door. Did you find anything else? The security guards really like to pirate games. There's so many in the play counts on these things. No wonder they got caught unprepared. Okay. Just looking around, seeing if there's any treasure chest I missed or forgot about. Going up this way. Don't copy that floppy. Indeed. Okay, oh, there's a little monster there. Let's fight the little monster. Um, it's an infectorator. Not much of a threat alone, but zap. Zap zap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I did not understand that reference. I thought the blood was possibly from someone named Chris. I thought the narrator randomly knew whose blood it was because weird. <laughs> nope, it was a Resident Evil 1 reference. Okay, so that was an easy enemy. Um, let's examine here. And unlock, not even a challenge. It's like these people have never even heard of Bill's hyper-advanced encryp encryption algorithms. So, yeah, there was going to be a hacking minigame at some point that you'd have to do, um, but that ended up getting ca uh, cut. Okay, so we got four, three security droids stuck in an endless kill-all-humans loop. Um, these look pretty strong. Um, so let's stun one. And she'll use a regular attack this turn. Okay, so um, they're weak against water. Um, oh, we have a different enviro hack thing now. So it stuns a random, or all of them, I don't know, just a random one, I think. Um, so she'll focus. Oh no, they're hurting us. Dave's almost dead. Hacking minigames have a habit of getting cut. I remember we wanted to do one in for a vast future. Yeah, they get cut. Because, you know, you just have to release the game at some point. Zap. Now she's going to purif purification torch. And we got one of the enemies dead. Oh, she needs to recharge. 
Um, let's see. Let's heal her. She's almost dead. And let's echo, echo, echo. Okay, that robot's almost dead. So we'll use our power attack on the other one. And then void bullet. Okay, all enemies are defeated. So that was a bit of a challenge, but a challenge we could do. Let's see. Looks like someone may have performed surgery here on someone or something. And then I think, oh, this is the way to go. And that monster got bigger. Did you see that? That thing, and then the other thing, and now it's one big thing. Are these robots evolving? No, that can't be it. What on earth were they trying to create here? Hmm, we don't know what we're up against. Be prepared for anything. Okay, did I miss something? Nope. I was going the right way. Okay, so now it's a super robot, Security Droid X, a bigger and more powerful than before. It's got a thousand HP. That's a lot of HP. Okay, so I'm gonna grind up, get our style up some, and then shoot it. Ooh, that did big damage on Alyssa. Uh, we're going to try stunning the thing. Stunned. And let's heal Alyssa. Oh, we got a chance. And then, oh yeah, we forgot to time that properly. Well, oh well. Um... Uh, we'll boost Dave, and Dave can zap it, and she can Purification Torch. Um, what is my favorite spy movie? Now I've forgotten all spy movies. <laughs> What's a spy movie? Okay, we'll echo our Flame Torch. The, oh, Chan is in negative HP. That's bad. But we defeated the robot. Okay, and then there's a treasure chest here. A hype pad. Okay, so we got our notepad and the hype pad. Um, extra bonus to program damage when hyper. That sounds good, and the stats are better. Okay, we can go this way. Okay, we found a monster. I'm not sure so sure about this. A tactical retreat is in order, yes? Um, don't worry, this is nothing we can't handle. And we got a boss, 1700. Becomes frenzied if the battle lasts too long. And it's weak against all of our major, each character's major element, so that's good. Um, so. Okay, so Alyssa got hurt, they're gonna drown it. Um, I'll heal her up and purification torch. Nope, she got rather damaged. And then let's try Zappy. Zap Zap. And we'll echo the flame attack. 
Ah, Lisa's low on life. Spy Hard. The opening song does rock. Isn't that Weird Al? Yes, Spy Hard <laughs> is amazing and it's Weird Al. <laughs> who we worship in our house. Okay, can we stun the enemy? Nope, not yet. But we can heal Alyssa. Oh no, Dave is damaged. Uh, um, let's poison the beast. And then we'll use a potion on Dave. And she will defend the party. Oh, it got more powerful and did not use its attack. Okay, let's inspire Dave. And then Dave will use Void Bullet for lots of damage. Oh, um, <laughs> none of these are correct. <laughs> none of these are correct. <laughs> Do not listen to Zayanoi. She's making stuff up. I don't actually know that I've seen a lot of the Mission Impossibles. How have you not seen spy movies? And you made a spy game. We need know. to do some major schooling. Sure. You need to see some. I was like, Man of Tai Chi, that had kind of spy elements with Karen Man of Mock. Tai Man of Tai Chi rocked, but it wasn't a spy movie. How old am I? <laughs> I am 43 years old. Thank you very much. Oh. Field breaker, you know, make it vulnerable, and Alyssa's about to die, but it doesn't matter because the boss in Weird Al is the real prin people's princess. Okay, Alyssa levels up. Sean levels up with Pick Me Up Gun. It cures ailments and increases ailment resistance. And Dave levels up. Why won't this thing die? Eek! Look out! I think I got it. Is everyone okay? Just a few scratches. Woo, we actually beat it. But now we're separated. It's going to take a while to clear out this rubble. I think we're past the worst of it. Keep searching the lab and I'll find another way to rejoin you. Be careful. Okay, so we just have Alyssa with us right now. Guess I'm on my own now. Okay. Um, little worrisome cutscene here, and there's one of those creepy robots going to the monster. Was it a spider? It, it's a robot spider, yes. Like in that, like in that show with um, Gene Simmons. Um, which show was that? Okay, there's a show with Gene Simmons. It's written by um. Is a it famous author. The Wild West one? No, no, no. It's written by Gene. It's with Gene Simmons. I don't know who's in it. I want to say Tom Selleck. It's a long time ago. And spiders, robot spiders. Gene Simmons is the bad guy from Kiss. I know I watched it with you. Uh, the Michael Crichton one? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Michael Crichton one. It was so bad, and there were robot spiders. Poor Alyssa. She has no friends. Okay, she hacked the door open. Now we can go through the door. Uh, now, there's a passageway, but I want to make sure there's a good weapon somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken, that I want to make sure I don't forget. Run away! Oh. Yep, run away! Oh. With the robot spiders. Yes, that that is a movie I have seen. <laughs> Thank you, Eleknor. Uh. I couldn't think of the title. Run away. The writer, and I didn't know the title. Run, 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 run away. Indeed. <laughs> um, later, Z Boy Games changed the command list into one row of eight, but I preferred the two rows because then I could do something like press down once and I'm at command number five slightly faster. <laughs> yeah, well, can't argue with those results. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep the.
Okay, I'm um, sorry about that. Um, just the com entire computer froze. I'm. That was weird. Um, never done that to me before. Okay, so reloaded. Yeah, the computer just completely froze. Couldn't, you know, even control alt delete. I had to reboot the whole thing. Um, so let's just hurry and do, repeat what we just did. We're going to fight the monsters. Yeah, maybe a Windows thing. I really felt like there oh there's the treasure chest I missed. Done baton. Yeah, maybe a Windows thing. Um let's see, so it's more powerful and it also makes it so you may stun when you attack with your regular bash attack. Yeah, doing a lot of saving just in case. We could dodge this enemy, but it's easy, so why not kill it? Okay, we defeated it. Now we go use our little console here. Opens up the passageway. And now we can enter the passageway. And we've got Dave and Chan by themselves. This can only end well. They've got two creepy monster things. Now these things are reanimating the dead as if this place couldn't get any worse. Okay, the Simrex X, a peaceful species when they aren't reanimated corpses. Um, I'll try and viro hack. See if it's done something. It does. Yay. They're not weak against anything in particular. Okay. Oh no, Dave is poisoned. Okay, how did we do the darkness and lightning? Is that an effect added in post or is it a part of the art? Okay, I like the robot bugs. They seem like good folks to hang around. Yep. Okay, so the darkness here, if I'm not mistaken, we um, what we did is we had a darkness, we had a image that had a little bit of animation that we just attached on top of the regular map and the regular gameplay. So it's not really a special effect, it's just an in image that just plays a quick loop to kind of make it look all staticky and not be able to see. Lighting, not lightning. Oh, lighting, yeah. <laughs> so not lightning, lighting. Yeah, so it, it's nothing fancy, it's just a, a regular visual that we've pasted on top, because I don't know how to do fancy special effects. Okay, and let's see. Um, yeah, let's grind up some energy for him. I'll do a focus. Everybody's poisoned. Not great. We'll void bullet that wipes it out. Um, let's heal. Um, can we defeat the last enemy? Everybody's poisoned, Phil. Yes, they are. And defeated. You died? No, I defeated the oh, enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know 
not not me defeated. Okay. Oh, we got the lights back on. Oh, the AI helped us. Hi guys, did you miss me? Of course, and see, we're not dead. Yep, you're good if you stayed alive this long. Everyone gets eaten by the monster by this point. When we show that monster a thing or two, I'm nobody's meal. That's so. I won't call you a liar since we're such good friends, but the monster is still very much alive. But we clearly killed that thing. Oh. Yep, things don't stay dead for long here, unless you're eaten. Not many people come back from that. Yeah, clearly the AI has never seen Bofuri. Anywho, enjoy the lights in your sector. And it's gone again. Let's find a list and get out of here. AI is my new best friend. There you all are. Alyssa, you're all right. A few robots weren't going to keep me down. Now that we found you, we got to get out of here right now. Found what we were looking for without me? Not exactly, but we found something much worse. Those little robots don't just work on other robots. They can reanimate the dead, bigger and better than before. And according to our AI friend, that giant monster we fought is back in commission. That's not good, but if we beat it once, we can beat it again. That's the spirit. Surely we've collected enough intel by now. No, there has to be something more here. Let's keep going. If you say so. Okay, we got our team back. And got some more money. Okay, terminal's busted. Wait, what's this? Find something interesting? I'm seeing a lot of references for something called Project Lumina. These files are really corrupt. Looks like it might have had something to do with brain augmentation, but I can't find any details. If it led to what we see around us, it can't have been good. Okay, so we got a fight here. We got one of those powerful things, and it's got two of the smaller ones. This fight on Super Spy was absurdly difficult. I believe you. Because if I'm not mistaken, this fight on Heroine's no slouch. Um, let's see, we can't really poison. I guess those are half, hu half alive, half dead, but... Hanging your laundry on Super Spy would be absurdly difficult. Yep, you would die. Repeatedly. Uh, everybody's getting hurt. <laughs> oh. I've always wondered why my washer dryer combo has a difficulty setting. Oh my god. Okay, let's see how much damage we can do with Dave's program when it's in hyper mode and we weaken the enemy. Oh no, Alyssa's about to die. Oh, well, she's going to shield break the enemy before she does. And now he's going to void bullet. And it did 900 damage. <laughs> which was almost its entire maximum HP. <laughs> that way lay. That ma he madness lay. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so. 
saving a bunch because I don't trust anyone now. Not even my computer. No, you need <laughs> to save. Save off and never forget to save. We learned that in the last stream. <laughs> okay. Oh, this must be the inner sanctum. Finally, this better be worth the effort. Wait. This better be good. <laughs> We're being watched. At the same time. You can hum the music that goes with this <laughs> cutscene. Do -do. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Ah, okay. we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Pull together. We're not going to die. Not here. Move into formation. It has 2800 HP. And it's weak against everything, but it has a lot more HP than it used to. Um, let's see if poison works on it. It does work on it, because it's part, you know, non-robotic. Well, they're all in the same dungeon, so they should look the same. Okay, um... We'll save that for later. Um, we'll just do a regular attack. So, wait till she gets stronger. Okay, drown it! Kapow! Grinding up his power. Um, gonna heal Alyssa. Oh, she attacked, it attacked Dave, not Dave. John's more powerful than we zap it. Kapow! Then we purification torch. Kapawi! Oh no, everyone's getting hurt. Okay, we'll heal Alyssa. And then we'll invite. Well, let's confound it. Does that work? Stunned. Then we'll echo. And we'll laser attack it. Okay, let's rest with Dave. We'll rest with. Oh. Hey, you know, with AI and Dave in the same conversation, how did you not make I'm sorry, but I can't do that Dave joke? I know, right? What was wrong with us? That was just like low hanging fruit yeah have you seen that movie uh i think so maybe that's why you didn't make the joke hey this is getting low but she can heal And it got stunned again. Purification torch. Drown. <laughs> My sound effects are enthusiastic while having no enthusiasm at all. Yeah, that's just me. We're gonna try to make Dave zap powerful. Zap! And we defeated the boss! Woohoo! Levels up! Knockout! Weak physical attack that may also stun and inflict vulnerable. John, no abilities. And Dave, system crash. Deals damage. May inflict rust on robotic enemies. You got a beast shield. Woo! We did it! We did it! No way that monster is coming back from that. Uh, it's not learning so much as I didn't play on the hardest difficulty this time. Now let's find out what's so important here. Okay, so we got a new shield. Let's see if that's anything useful. Murder! And it raises your physique. Um, so who do we want to give murder to? Uh, 
Um, sure, we'll give it to Sean. Okay, and we can examine some stuff now. Okay, take, what's this? You got a strange device. And we examine here, attack, jackpot, what did you find? Thousands of uncorrupted files detailing their research here. It's gonna take a while to dig through all this. Download everything, we'll turn it in to the agency when we get back for analysis. Will do. Let's see, anything else we can look at? Oh, we got another strange device. I think that's everything. Let's see if we can leave. I think that's everything. Mike will be out on the surface over by the target in 10 minutes, requesting extraction. Copy that, over and out. Oh, and now we get a mysterious scene with a new character. It's not here, I was too late. They blew past all obstacles. The API is training its agents well these days. And now they have the device in their possession. This is bad. A minor setback if it's a setback at all. Given a few years, no. <laughs> Waiting is unacceptable. My time is finite. I can't get the device myself, but what if? Yes, this could work. The strange devices you found at the lab have been transferred to a secure API storage facility for analysis. Good job, everyone. It's really late. I'll see you tomorrow. Later. Good night. Okay. And we got a special animation for Alyssa. Well, not yet. We got a cutscene for Alyssa. She's having a dream. This is music for a bad dream. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> bad dream music. Everything's bad. This looks even worse. We're in trouble now. I don't like po pointy things in my head. Now this, this is, is crazy. Why, this is why you don't write music. <laughs> this, this is why, why you hire people. This is why we get other people to make music. And that, of course, you know, Fantasy Star 2 reference there at the end. Ah! That dream, it felt so real. You are tapping on the door. Psst, Alyssa, get up, we need to talk to you. Okay, now we get the fancy getting dressed animation. And she V's at the end. Okay. You're up, you want to believe how hard it is to wake somebody up quietly. You need to see what we found out. Dave, have you, have you been hacking into places you're not supposed to be in? Actually, this was on Sector Chief Sue's insistence. He told me he had a bad feeling about this mission, wanted me to look into it. And look into it I did, and boy did I hit pay dirt. Listen to this transmission from Director Steele I found. Those fools from Australia don't realize the magnitude of what they've discovered. Just another old research station? Hardly. Yes, I yeah, I should be an a cappella musician. No, he shouldn't. No, <laughs> no. I disagree entirely. I've dispatched some of our best agents to the site to secure the device, and of course you'll be nearby to clean up the mess if they fail. The Lumina project has the potential to heal the wounded mind. No longer will humanity struggle against itself. The taboos that bind us will be shattered. The agency of peace and intelligence will finally fulfill its name. Humanity will rule over all. The taboos that bind us, what could he mean? He must be referring to the Mental Autonomy Act. No technology will be made that infringes on an individual's right to freedom of thought. The war of cybernetic insanity. A traditional computer virus might ruin a machine, but when the machine in question is directly hooked up to the human brain... I've heard stories of those days. Matrix! <laughs> The lucky ones went straight into a coma, but most went into a feeding frenzy, killing friends and family without thought. This is gory! <laughs> Trapped in your own body, a fate worse than death. Thankfully, the technology was still new and had only been accepted by a small percentage of the population, or that would have been the end. How awful. Every piece of data I've dug up on this Project Lumina he's talking about fills me with dread. It's much more advanced than the old technology. Oh, yep, early adopters. Never early adopt, you know, stuff in your brain. <laughs> While the old cybernetic technology was open to tampering, Project Lumina offers more direct control. Mind control? Exactly. Total control of another's mind. I don't know what Steel's in-game is, but it can't be good. 
Did you let your children play this game? Yes, I did. <laughs> no, no, this is unacceptable. We can't let this happen. What are you saying? I thought the agency had humanity's best interests in mind, and maybe they did at one point, but that point is past. No one should wield such ultimate power, especially someone who would use it to dominate over others. And since we're the ones who brought the technology here, it's up to us to deal with it. Music to my ears. Dave, can you remove the relevant files from the API service? No, as soon as files go up, multiple backups are made. They duplicate the information faster than I could delete it. However, the information in those files is fragmented and poorly organized. Without the physical prototype, it could take them a while to make progress. You're not seriously thinking? Yes, let's steal the devices back. I'm on it. Looks like it's been placed in Vault 348. Moderate security. There's a scheduled analysis in a few hours. We don't have much time. We need to break in, steal the Lumina prototypes, get out, and then figure out some way to counter this technology. If we do this, there's no turning back. We'll be branded traitors by the agency. I'm in. John, you can count on me. I, I love how we've all just like decided to turn you know, traitor on the organization we worked for in, uh, I don't know, three-minute cutscene? The exit on the south end of the main floor leads to the vaults. I'll upload some false data to the server to try to divert as much security as possible. We can do this. Let's go. Hey, and we've got our party back. Hey, let's take the elevator. Woo, elevator. I hated programming the elevators. They don't, if I recall, they don't actually move. It's just like the camera's moving. And so it moves up or down depending on which way the elevator's supposed to go. Um, let's check our store, see if there's anything new. Uh, nope, doesn't look like there's anything new. Okay, so here's our way to the next dungeon. And there's all these force fields we can't go through. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to be here, Agent. Jamming protocol has been initiated. Nobody's calling for help. You've made a terrible mistake. A mistake you're not walking away from. Yeah, these don't look... Okay, Spy has a license to kill and secret agent. Proud member of the Agency of Peace and Intelligence. Okay. Let's use our new move. Uh, vulnerable. And we've got... Looks like we got... Cunning Up as our special move there. And Powie. Okay, we defeated the agents. Can't believe we're actually doing this. Any cold feet? No, let's just hurry up and get out of here. Red gate polarity reversed. And we gotta do this. Blue gate polarity reversed. Okay, we gotta go get the green one now. What was that? You're hearing things. Get back to work. We go beat them up, yes. Intruders! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Die, office workers, die!
Yeah, they're really not that hard. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, we defeated the office workers. Woo! And then we can examine this. Storage security, what's your status? Do you copy? We say something? We're totally fine here. Just a blaster malfunction. Nothing to see. We got this A-OK -okay under control. What? Who is this? Alert. Send in the... Stop playing with the computer. We have work to do. Uh, green things reversed. Killing office mm -hmm. workers is like shooting fish in a barrel, isn't it? You know it. Okay, we got a treasure chest of Fositama. New weapon for Chan. Okay, so let's equip. We've got... Ooh, that's a lot more powerful. And it has her start off with autofocus, which is nice. I don't know. Names are hard. Cut, cut us some slack. Okay, there's another treasure chest. Let's use the red one. And now we can go this way since we already switched some other ones. And we get a treasure chest. And it is a speed stick. Sounds like deodorant, but it's actually a weapon for Alyssa. <laughs> Okay, it has higher damage, it boosts her style at the beginning, and she starts off with Hyper. That's really good. Alyssa's gone postal. Maybe we should have given her that anxiety medication she asked for. Yep, their health plan was not good enough. <laughs> okay, so we're running across the big bridge. And we're attacked, ambushed by robots. I spy. We find this enemy to be quite disarming. Yep, they're just sleepy. They just had a mission. Everybody's attacking Chan. Okay, sorry about that. Not a Z-Boys stream if we don't have multiple tech issues. Just okay. get out and go back in, Willow. Yeah. Still not working. Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay. So, agents, they got woken up for emergency patrol duty. No intruders making it this far. Well, what do you know? We better get a promotion for taking these people out. Spytron and Spy. So, Spytron's hey, more powerful. We have eight minutes left. Uh. Let's make the robot angry for no reason. It's so angry. For Waddle D. <laughs> I am loving the Waddle D references. Ah, it attacked them. Ah, uh, Dave. Dave's stunned and is about to die. Okay, that was a close one, but we managed to win. Now we're going to switch to purple. And we can get in the door. We get our old stuff. 
Should we test them out? Of course not. We're, who are you planning on testing them on? Let's get out of here. Okay, and looks like we're going to reach the boss just as the stream is about to end. So, yay, boss. Okay, we get a cutscene, which is never good. Oh, Sue's over there looking ominous. Stop. Oh, we're gonna fight Sue. That's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be also six minutes. Sue, are you here to stop us? I heard the report of intruders in this section. Thought it might be you. I take it you found some incriminating evidence in your search, Dave? Technology is part of something called the Lumina Project. It allows for total control of a person's mind. I see. Well, we can't allow that, can we? Count me in. You sure this is an act of treason? Treason for the greater good is no treason. I can't have let you have all the fun. Someone's approaching. Ah! Deal zapped us. Why bother returning the device if you're just going to come back and steal it? Director! No, don't answer that. I already know. Astria got to you, and I had such high hopes for you. And you too, Boris Suzovsky. Although I should have suspected something when you were so insistent that Echo not participate in the Romu mission. You knew what we'd find in the Romu lab, didn't you? You actually intend to use mind control technology on our own people? You're dealing with forces far beyond your comprehension. Return the device before things get worse for you. What do you intend to do with this power? I shall create a better world for humanity. The evil within men's hearts will be eradicated. Peace and intelligence shall prevail. I won't let anyone st stand in my way. What, you think an old man like you can defeat us all by your lonesome? Very funny. Good point. How about I even the odds a little? And he's using a special move. And a giant robot dragon appears. You, you, you monster, using the sacred arts to summon a living thing? It's barbaric. If you manage to survive, I'll be waiting in my office, ready to accept your surrender. We can't let him get away with this. Come on, Alyssa, let's put this beast out of its misery. It's Spectral Dragon, life ripped from its body by Dominic Steele's dark magic. It's weak against water and earth. And we're going to boost our cunning. Steel is pretty evil. Yes, he is. So we got a whole new character in our party now. Sue can disarm, do bonus damage, extra stealth for defeating, uppercut, gain earth element, um, hyper bar, and counterattack. Well, let's earth element it up because this boss is weak against earth. Okay, we're going to boost our defenses. Oh, Dave is getting low on life. Okay, um, defense. Let's rust it. Oh. And Sue counterattacks. And is anything cool? No. And just zap it. Okay. 
can do it. We can do it. You can do it. I will uppercut. Don't cup. end this dying. Kapow. Ooh, that did lots of damage. Ready to find a Z-Boy dragon for Year of the Dragon. This was the only one I could think of. Well, it's a good dragon that's trying to kill us. Happy Year of the Dragon! Woohoo! Oh, it did damage to everything. Oh, and Dave's almost dead. He does that a lot. Being almost dead. Void bullet. 400 damage. Dang. Focus. No, damage to everybody. This is bad. <laughs> and we're going to end it on a death. <laughs> Vulnerable. Oh, Dave's almost dead. <laughs> don't, don't bring a Pokemon to a stick fight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. And then we'll uppercut. I wish you all could <laughs> see Robert's face. He's so <laughs> concentrated on this fight. Yay, we won. Yay. And we only had one death. <laughs> don't bring a stick, gun, fist, notebook to, to a, a fight. Yep. Pokemon versus Stick, Gun, Fist, Notebook. That's right. Okay. Alyssa wins. Um, we won. So we're out of time. So that's a good place to stop. We ended on a victory. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Yeah. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Thanks for joining us. Um, if you're not already, um, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our Twitch channel. And we will be doing this again next week at the same time with a different game. Because we are pushing that Kickstarter. And we are pushing the Kickstarter. So go to Zombie Fun Run, back it, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your Pokemon. It's going to be great. It's going to be funny. And we need you. And we need your help. So that's it for today. And goodbye. Have a great Year of the Dragon. Like and subscribe, it really helps us. Thanks for watching.